Welcome back. Definitely head over to Telluride Truffle to try out that Bunny Hill. Bring your kids in. They're going to love that one. But right now, I am here with Ty Gallenbach, yep. famed local magician. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yes, but. definitely. You're a big talk about town. Mind blown at the Madeline, of yes. course, which we'll get into in a bit. But first, I'd love to hear about your background, how you got to Telluride, how long you've been here. Absolutely. So I grew up in western Colorado. Uh, tried to run away and went to Southern California for a few years and my now wife brought me kicking and screaming back to Western Colorado. Mm -hmm. But now as I have two daughters, eight and five, being in Western Colorado, there's no place better than this area. So um, grew up here and then worked in Vail Beaver Creek area for a summer and didn't love it and mm -hmm. kind of remembered we, we actually used to ditch high school to come to Telluride. Like yes. that's what we would do. Excellent. And so I remembered how beautiful it was. And I was like, man, that really would be the perfect place to try to launch this show idea. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, ended up coming up here and landed a gig at the Madeline and have been here ever since. That's fantastic. Yeah, well, it's been welcome, a dream come true. Welcome back to the Western Slope that's then. That's right. <laughs> that's fantastic. So how'd you get into magic? To begin with so i actually was in college so i started pretty late for most people but saw david blaine's first television special mm. and it was really more of a puzzle that i wanted to figure out how he did what he did mm -hmm. and so i went out and bought a book uh, and i talk about this in the show but the book was actually written in 1902 oh my gosh by a card sheet under a pen name and to this day, nobody knows who actually wrote the book. Wow. But in that book, it taught a bunch of the moves that he was using. And so I was able to kind of dissect what he was doing. And then from there, it just kind of took off that it was a fun hobby. So Fantastic. Yeah. Were you prone to math and science when you were growing up? I was, very it's, much so. Yeah. Yep. It seems like... That perfect blend when, yeah. you know, when you're coming you into puzzle solving. Take it apart to figure out how it works. Yeah. And yeah. Fantastic. Absolutely. So when did you start doing magic professionally? Uh, I would say full time about seven years ago, but okay. I've been performing for the last 15 years 15 now. 15 years, yeah. So. And where has magic taken you? Uh, all over the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, we've been coast to coast. And then last year did my first international gig in the Dominican Republic, wow. which was a crazy experience yeah um, you can't say magic which was really interesting like you have to say illusionist all the time because if you say magic you could actually get burned at the stake I kind see. of thing so yeah. kind of witch hunt there yeah, yeah. absolutely Got it. there's actually a famous professional magician that was on a television show and the host lit him on fire with like holy cologne and like sprayed it on him and so I was very like careful very, with how I said very things. Very tender, yes, yes. yes. Illusionist <laughs> tricks, no magic, no magic. So I see, I see. Yeah. So um, any big plans for the upcoming year? Well, so this summer we had a. I think the last time I was on here was back in last winter, mm -hmm. and so this summer we actually added a late show, uh, which was super fun. And so this winter we've carried that over, so we're actually doing late shows almost every Friday night. Got so it. we have a 9 p.m. show, so we're doing shows Friday and Saturday nights all winter long. Fantastic. Um, I'm so excited uh, to be back doing this again yeah. with those shoulder seasons. You know, you take a couple months off, but. It's great to be back. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's at the Madeline. Where in the it Madeline is. can they find you? So the show takes place on the second floor in one of the banquet rooms up there. Um, but we encourage people to come early, go visit the M Club or the mm -hmm. Black Iron, get food, bring drinks into the show. Um, yeah, we want it just to be kind of a fun time. And, yeah. yeah. Definitely some of the best food in town also. Oh, yeah. It's incredible. So... And, and I will recommend, little side plug, but we have a custom cocktail that the M Clump carries. So called the Mind Blown. I designed it. Strongly recommend that. That's so, fantastic. Yeah. A little bit of magic there to allude to. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. So, so where can people get tickets? Uh, Mindblownatthemadeline.com. Or if you're in town, you're more than welcome to go by the concierge at the Madeline. Um, and they'll be able to set you up as well. Fantastic. So yeah. that'll run all winter long. All winter. Running straight to the end of the season. That's right. Fantastic. So definitely Mind Blown at the Madeline has all the ticket dates and availability and stuff. So just jump on there and see which one you want to come to. Yeah. Wildly yeah. popular in and around Telluride. Yeah. But right now you're going to show us one of your famed card tricks. Let's do it. Uh, this is actually one of the first tricks I learned uh, when I watched David's first special. Um, 
and it's a game called Two Card Money. There's a game called Three Card Money where you follow the queen. It's mm -hmm. like a street hustle game. This is a version only using two cards. So Got if you'll it. hold your right hand like that, yes. perfect. We're going to use two queens, the queen of diamonds and the queen of hearts. I'm going to put the queen of diamonds in your hand just like that. If okay. I snap my fingers, are you holding the queen of diamonds or the queen of hearts? Queen of diamonds. Are you sure? N no. You can look. I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> okay, it's the Queen of Diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite that good. But right. I have the Queen of Hearts, you have the Queen of Diamonds. This is how it's going to work. The switch looks like this. So now I have diamonds, you have, have hearts. hearts. So now keep track, though, at full speed. One, two, three. Without looking, what card is on bottom? The Queen of Diamonds or the Queen of Hearts? The Queen of Hearts. For 20 bucks? Yes. No, you should never bet, because I actually keep the queens <laughs> back here. And if you take a look there, you've got oh two flash aces just like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no betting. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But first see, rule, first rule of magic. Yeah, never, never bet. But see, here's the thing about it is really that's just sleight of hand. I mean, that's changing four cards out of the entire deck. It's just being quick. Mm. I like, if you could do magic, you wouldn't change just two cards or four cards, you'd actually change the entire deck oh my God. from red <laughs> to blue. <laughs> this is also usually when... I mean, this is red. This is red. Those are blue now. <laughs> <laughs> and this is usually when someone says, well, can you change it back? That's yeah, your can cue. you change it back? Oh, perfect. Let's try it. <laughs> Take out any one you want. Okay. Look at it. You can show the camera. I won't look. Okay. Good. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Set your card back in. Okay. And it goes into the center. And we get one card to change. If you take a look, there's one card. Oh, no. And there's only one. There's not more than one. What was your card? It was the Ten of Clubs. The Ten of Clubs. If you take a look, the Ten of Clubs. <laughs> now, here, we'll do it one more time. Hold your hand like this again. Okay. I'm going to give you the Ten of Clubs. We'll try this one more time since you're using the hand. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Right here. Yes. Okay, remember that card? Show the camera. We get one card to change again. If you take a look, one card changes. But this time it doesn't change here. It changes there. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing's moving in my hands. This is so confusing. <laughs> That's incredible. So there you go. Yeah, absolutely. Thank oh you so gosh. much. Thank you. Yeah, I'm it was so fun. This. this is my... Mine forever. So now we're going to head over to our retro ride today featuring Lift Ticket. Um, it's going to be his whiter than a powder day. Let's check it out. <laughs> 